Often donors look for a, a place where they can find reliable information, uh, where they can find information about uh, contacts and networks and referrals. And it's the role of uh, infrastructure support organizations to do that. Studies have shown that countries that do have associations and support organizations serving philanthropy, those countries have a, a stronger uh, and more efficient and effective uh, philanthropic sector. So that is uh, the infrastructure is directly correlated with, with the capacity of the sector. Um, donors can also rely on uh, support organizations serving philanthropy on information for identifying opportunities for cooperation, for collaboration, to learn how others are facing similar challenges or are dealing with, with, with similar barriers, sometimes identifying the need to, to get together and, and discuss those issues. Also, um, support organizations are able to advance uh, the discussion of philanthropy or, or the sector by identifying trends and, and provoking discussions so, so you know, the sector can gain more knowledge and advance for better practice. So there are a series of, of roles that uh, support organizations serving philanthropy play that are very important and end up being the benefit of the foundations and the grant makers. Philanthropy is growing and gain, gaining visibility worldwide. Uh, there are new, uh, new donors, new sources, new ways of funding, of, of doing philanthropy. Uh, emerging markets, philanthropy is growing a lot. However, data on philanthropy is still quite uh, limited. We, we, we are not used yet to collect the data. Not all countries have a requirement that foundations report uh, how much they're giving and how and to whom. So we are doing this global effort to, one is to create or to promote the culture of working with data. Once uh, foundations and support organizations and nonprofits realize how useful data can be, they can start to incorporating, uh, collecting data, analyzing and working with data as part of, of their day-to-day -day operation. And uh, we also, by collecting data, we want to be able to offer more of a, of a picture of the sector. If the sector wants uh, to, to exist as a field of practice, it's important to have uh, the data to know uh, who we are, what we're doing. If we want to improve uh, what we're doing, we also need to know what we're doing now, what needs to be improved, and, and what is the size of our end scope of philanthropy. Developing a standardized data collection system is very difficult. Countries have their own uh, ways of categorizing uh, information. Countries have their own ways of understanding uh, philanthropy. Philanthropy is not defined equally in the same terms all over the world. Uh, even in the sense of donors, what is a, a community foundation, what is a private foundation, a corporate foundation that understanding is not the same all over the world. So we are now in an effort to see what kinds of agreement we can get to collect some standardized data. This is very important so we can compare information, we can compare data from the various regions of the world. So far the efforts we have done in terms of collecting data and offering a profile of philanthropy uh, in different parts of the world has allowed us to look mostly at qualitative data and to describe uh, how philanthropy is taking place in different parts. But we would like to be able to collect data that allow us to, to do some comparisons uh, for philanthropy around the world. It's very important that uh, donors, foundations uh, and grant making organizations report their grants all over the world. So we can identify trends, we can identify opportunities for collaboration, we can also identify uh, or, or strategies to avoid duplication, uh, maximize the use of resources to achieve a higher impact. We uh, are uh, increasingly aware of the interdependence of the social problems that we face in the world. 
a lot of the issues that grant makers are supporting nowadays. They have a, a global scope, they, they have reached that go beyond borders. So it's very important that to be, by reporting you know, the grants in different countries, we can put together you know, collective efforts to act on even more complex social issues. Well, that's related to the, the, the previous question. Uh, philanthropy is increasingly understanding the uh, interdependence and the global complexity of uh, social and economic and environmental issues. Uh, you know, issues nowadays they, they reach they go beyond borders. They are not within the scope of one particular country or community. Uh, the issues are interrelated. So it's important to keep the dialogue with other grant makers, with nonprofits, also with governments. So uh, adopting a multi-sectoral uh, approach, working with various partners in collaboration to address uh, the more complex issues.